Now, we're going to read The Stolen Crown, Part 1. The family went to see an old castle. Most of it has fallen down a long time ago. It's just a ruin, said Chip. <coughs> Kipper wanted to climb on a wall. Dad said, no, we must look at them. Old ruin, he said. Old, old ruins, he said. Once upon a time, it was a big castle, said Biff. I wonder what it was like, like to live here. Mom, Mom. A good spot for a picnic. Floppy saw some rabbit hole. Saw a rabbit hole. It. He began to dig in the ground. Chip saw some something shiny in the dirt. So he picked it up. It's a glass bead, he said. I wonder who lost it, said Biff. Chip looked at the bead. It threw it through bead. Through his magnifying glass, then he put it in his pocket. I don't think it's valuable, he said. Later, Chip came into Biff's room. He had, she, he had a book about castles. Suddenly, the magic key began to grow. The magic took Biff and Chip back in time. It took them to the castle. Some people were waiting outside a big door. An important man came up. I am Lord Kent, he said. Said the man, there is... Where is your present for the prince? Biff and Chip didn't have a present. Think of something, Chip, said Biff. Er, we have a magic glass, said Chip. It makes small things look big. That is a good present, said Lord Kent. The prince will like it. Put it on his cushion. Then wait outside in the line. At last, Biff and Chip went into a hall. That was quick. Thinking Chip, said Biff. That was quick thinking Chip, said Biff. I wonder who, who this prince is. He must be important, said Chip. The prince was sitting on a throne. Chip gave him the magnifying glass. I love it, said the prince. The prince jumped off the throne and looked through the magnifying glass. <coughs> Tomorrow is an important day, he said. Tomorrow I will be king. 
You could call me Heavy, but tomorrow I will be King Heavy. He said, Come with me. He, he ran out of the hall. Henry ran upstairs. Call and see my crown, he said. I want to look at it th th through the ma 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 magic, magic glass. Two guards look at Biff and Chip. We are here to see to see that the crown is not stolen, said a so said the soldier. You yelled your arms up. Oh. We must search, search you. Henry took Biff and Chip into a small room. In a tower, Biff and Chip gasped when they saw the crowd. It looks very valuable, said Chip. If it was stolen, I could not become king, said Henry. But it is safe in this tower. Nobody could take it from here. Henry took Biff and Chip to see the horse. I shall ride him when I become king tomorrow, he said. <coughs> Suddenly, they heard shout, shouting. Lord Pet ran up to Henry. Come quickly, shouted, shouted. Your crown has been stolen. Henry ran back up the stairs to the to the crown room. The guards were still outside the door. The crown is missing, said a guard. How can it be missing? asked Henry. We don't know, said a guard. Nobody was being here except you. I know who stole it, said Lord Kent. These children have stolen it, Lord Kent went on. They used magic to do it. Throw them in prison at once. At once. Oh, oh, said Biff. Now we're in trouble. Now read part one. Bye.